So I'm here in Kalihi, and I hope you guys are doing great today. We are on Mokowea Street. I came here before. That's uh, Mia Kojo, I think. I'm terrible at names, but they have that non-bond chicken. And I'm here at a hole in the wall. New Island Barbecue, right across the street. And um, if you're not familiar, Mokowea Street is the street with the famous Alicia's Market, and it's more down there. So we're in the San Island Industrial Area. If you go that way, that's Nimitz Highway. And uh, that way is San Island. The lady here is very nice, and she's cooking my food. They do your typical plate lunches, but what's unique about here is they have Chinese stuff. Yeah, no worries, thank you. So um, she does egg fu yang. I got the stuffed bitter melon. That's an old-timey local classic egg rolls. But she also has, you know, ang choy with pork, cha su fried rice. And they have interesting bentos. Like I got this one. It has her famous uh, salt and pepper, I think it's chicken. She said people are really like that in the pork chops. They have some minis, so I'm gonna try the garlic mahi. Pretty reasonable prices. But they also have regular things like breakfast sandwiches, cheeseburgers, french fries, and your regular plate lunches if you don't wanna be adventurous. Your barbecue mix plate, chili, cold ginger chicken, all that kind of stuff. And you can see the pictures if you're not sure what it looks like. So I'm gonna sign my receipt and I'll get back to you. Okay, getting back to uh, this place because I have to sign my receipt. If you can't, she can't see you because there's a window here, uh, you have to just press the doorbell and she'll come out. Really nice lady. Uh, there is no dine-in so it's just a uh, walk-up takeout place and they do take credit cards. Hey guys, so I got my food and um, the lady there I must say is such a nice lady. She's very personable and very nice, and um, they put a lot of care into putting your stuff together, and she taped it together so that, um, you know, like I said, everything's takeout. It won't slide in your car or spill, and um, I like the little, you know, containers that she gives for the bentos because you can reuse them. It's like one of those meal prepping containers. So I guess we'll start with that because um, and the reason I picked this one is it's unique. It's very different. You don't see these kind of bentos elsewhere. And I was kind of surprised. And I would like to try her famous salt and pepper chicken, which is included in here. So this one, if I can open it, ooh, has chili with hot dog and the salt and pepper chicken. If you don't know, it's got the jalapenos, stir fried onions, and crispy chicken. And like I said, everything is so well put with thoughtfulness. I mean, look at this. A little nice cute bag with napkins and chopsticks and knives and stuff. And then I like how she put the shoyu packet in here. So nice. And it looks amazing. And if you're not into um, different kind of bentos, you're a purist. Um, she definitely has the regular ones with the spam and sausage and stuff like that. But let's take a taste of this chili with hot dog and look at how the hot dog's nice and blistered and fried nice. Ooh. Typical good hot dog, but it has that nice flat top grill marks on there. Gives it extra flavor. Let's taste her chili. Almost looks kind of like Zippy's chili. Mmm. A little bit different, but it's got that creamy, zippies, chili kind of texture. Very nice. And with the rice, you can't go wrong. Yeah, I like that silky, smooth texture that chili has. Mmm. It's just good local, homemade comfort food. It's even got big chunks of bell pepper in there. All right, let's try this piece of salt and pepper chicken. I'm a fan of fresh jalapeno, so um, I love anything salt and pepper, salt and pepper shrimp at a Chinese restaurant. Looks really crispy and crunchy. Mmm. 
and it is, it's got a lot of flavor. Jalapeno. Chase it with some rice. Man, that's good. That is a unique bento. You know, when you're tired of the same old kind of bentos, this is pretty bomb. Um, just such different flavors you wouldn't expect in a bento. It's prepared, you know, fresh, nice and crispy, very light coating of batter on here. It's just really not a heavy batter, but still crunchy. So good. And the inside of the chicken's moist. It's not dry and just got a lot of flavor to it. Um, I think if you don't like spicy stuff, you might not like it because, you know, there's loads of black pepper on there and the jalapenos, but I like spice, so it's delicious. If you're into salt and pepper, pork chops or whatever, she's got that too. But, you know, these are easy to eat. They're boneless chicken. It tastes like chicken thighs, so it's super moist. Um, definitely give her salt and pepper chicken a try and if you don't want to commit to a whole plate lunch of it get this bento super cheap chicken so good i ate it all this is my last piece next time i definitely get the plate lunch this is winners for reals and that was pretty much a mini bento and that was pretty pretty good amount of food for a mini and it is 825 cheap eats can't go wrong very tasty food Okay, the next dish is the mini garlic mahi-mahi, and they have, um, apologies, I have like really bad allergies today, um, different seafood specials, and they have minis of it or a full plate lunch. So if you're on a budget and you want to not spend too much money on seafood, you can get this. She got regular fried mahi-mahi, she got garlic kind like this with the garlic sauce, um, shrimp and stuff, I believe, lots of choices. Um, smells yummy. I can smell some interesting spices in there, like different kind of maybe herbs. Take a taste of it. It's not the kind of garlic mahi you would think local kind, but it's good. It's almost reminds me of like a garlic butter Italian seasoning in there. Something you would get with pasta or something and capers, which is really good. Different kind of flavor and unique, you know, but tasty, super ono. If you love butter, you'll definitely like this. And the fish is so flaky and soft. And it's just like so easy to eat. No bones, not overcooked, really good. And when the butter with the Italian herb seasoning Hits that rice. It's good. You can see all those herbs in that sauce on the fish. Pretty generous with the butter sauce. Mm. And pretty meaty pieces too. I mean, I ate half of it, but this is still left. And then you get another piece right here. Pretty big for a mini. It's pretty substantial, keep you full. The mini comes with a scoop of rice and mac salad, so let's try that mac salad. The noodles are a little bit over al dente, but not overcooked. So it's got a nice softness to it, but not like mushy mushy. And it's got, um, I don't know, like chopped celery, very finely diced chopped celery and some shredded carrot in there. And it's actually pretty tasty. It's got enough mayonnaise in there where it's not dried out and not too much goopy mayonnaise and it's got a right amount of seasoning so auntie can cook for sure and even though the mahi is fried with a coating on it it's not crispy but i think the purpose is to soak up that sauce and it does it so well you know because all that flour coating on it soaks up the butter sauce so it makes the fish nice and moist and tasty Okay, and then Auntie, she was really nice and gave me a toss salad. You can get a side of toss salad instead of your mac salad if you're trying to be healthy. But that does come with an additional fee. But she wanted me to show it. So she threw that in. So thank you so much. I don't usually like to take free stuff because the point of this whole vlog is to support small mom and pop businesses and um, local restaurants. So, you know, I know that 
times are tough and it's hard to give out free stuff so but she insisted so I took it uh, she says this is their uh, homemade sauce it reminds me of the Y Camilo drive-in nuclear sauce that I tried a while ago so interesting that somebody else makes the same and the salad looks wonderful it's got shredded red cabbage in there or purple cabbage some people say um, shredded carrots it's romaine lettuce and some cucumber so poured some dressing on it and gonna try it with this cucumber definitely fresh vegetables the dressing has a sweetness to it but also reminds me of Thousand Island dressing but it's got specks of stuff in there so I don't know what that is like do they use strawberry jello that's what comes to mind because the specks don't you know dissolve and mix it with some mayonnaise or something I'm not sure but it's sweet but yeah that actually goes well together way better than the white Camilo drive-in one in terms of the dressing and the veggies are super fresh has a nice crunch to it and it really goes well together so if you're wondering how much that mini mahi mahi with the uh, mac salad and one scoop of rice is for a mini it is $8.25 you can get a full plate lunch of the garlic mahi if you want or any other seafood she offers for a um, a little higher price but for $8.25 for seafood in a delicious butter garlic sauce with kind of like an Italian herb seasoning that was really wonderful flaky fish that price is pretty you know affordable these days so very good plate lunch all right now on to our last dish you can get any kind of plate lunches anywhere on the island in the whole state your typical chicken katsu hamburger steak curry etc but what makes new island barbecue unique is they also offer chinese plate lunches so they have all that so if you're just like a picky eater and you only eat local stuff go for it you can order from her but if you want something different she's got a whole bunch of different Chinese plate lunches like the stuff I showed you in the beginning this caught my eye because it's an old-time Hawaii favorite um, I believe you know they eat it in southern China but uh, the Chinese that moved to Hawaii made it their own uh, so it might taste different from China I'm not sure but I used to eat this my grandma used to make it it's stuffed bitter melon with black bean sauce and if you're not familiar bitter melon it's an acquired taste it is bitter they core out the middle of the bitter melon which has the seeds so it's got a hole and they stuff it with some ground pork and cook it in a black bean sauce so it comes with your typical mac salad and two scoops rice smells delicious okay let's dig in she's pretty generous with this too you got one two three four five six seven eight pieces of the stuffed bitter melon Ooh. Mm. nice soft ground pork in there seasoned good the sauce is bomb I like black bean stuff and it's got you know a lot of garlic in there I like the ba black bean garlic um, flavor the bitter melon is bitter um, but that's what you're looking for um, if you like this it's an acquired taste like I said definitely get this if you're into bitter melon I think in Okinawa it's called Goya so it's actually a healthy superfood it's good for you and it's garnished with some green onion as well so very nice presentation and what I like about this is this is just like a plate lunch so I am used to Calrose rice like most local people eat when you order this in a Chinese restaurant you're probably gonna get jasmine rice and I'm not really a fan of jasmine rice so I am so glad that you know she put two scoops of regular rice and it's cooked perfectly and what's great about it is she puts plenty sauce on, so on top so it soaks up all the sauce and that's the yummy part where the black bean sauce goes into the rice so I'm going to take it out so you kind of know if you don't know but most of my demographics of people that watch my channel well what YouTube tells me anyway they're pretty much an older crowd which is cool so I guess you guys would know about this dish because it's like I said an old-time dish but this is the stuffed pork and then it's stuffed into the hole of the bitter melon so that's what it looks like but the meat is so good and it's got a little bit of 
crust on there. So it looks like she fries it while it's flat and then puts the sauce on it to cook it. So super, super yummy. And like every other plate lunch, which makes it odd because usually you see this in a Chinese restaurant, you got your scoop of mac salad. So if you love your mac salad, it's there as well. So, you know, it's really hard to find this kind of stuff in a plate lunch form. So definitely go down there. The only other place I can think of that would do that is um, the place I did in Waipahu, Garden Island Cafe. That's a place that does it. Maybe Waikamila Drive-In does it as well because they're also Chinese. But this place reminds me of Garden Island Cafe in Waipahu that I covered. You can check out the video above if you never watched that one. But they do also plate lunches in a Chinese form. But what makes New Island Barbecue different is they got the um, all the island favorites, not just the Chinese stuff. But Garden Island was also one of the rare places that packed your plate lunches in this nice kind of box, just like Auntie did today, and taped it up and made sure things don't leak and wrapped it up nice so that when you go travel in your car, it doesn't spill all over the place. It's better than uh, paper bags too, because the box keeps them steady. So super nice lady. I appreciate all the effort that they do to uh, have you transport your food in one piece. So if you're wondering how much that plate lunch was with the eight pieces of stuffed bitter melon, mac salad, and two scoops of rice, it is $11.95. Also quite a deal for some Ono Chinese Hawaii style food. Um, definitely check this place out if you're craving some Chinese food and it's not like you have to buy um, a whole entree like you're going to a Chinese restaurant. When you sit down at a Chinese restaurant, they usually have lunch specials, but they're usually generic things like cha su and you know the wonton, the crispy gaoji, and like some fried rice or something. This place you can choose some authentic Chinese dishes that are not like on those generic lunch A, B, C specials or China, you know those like stir fried broccoli, beef broccoli kind of stuff. You can choose different stuff like this and fried ong choy, the salt and pepper, uh, chicken and pork and all that and have it in a plate lunch form where you don't have to buy the whole entree. And it's a perfect portion for somebody just to eat on the go and you can call it in. A gentleman that was there before me called his in and it was ready and he just grabbed it and went after he paid. So, um, you know, if you're in the Kalihi area, you're craving something like that, check out Auntie at New Island Barbecue. Super friendly service, really awesome prices, especially in this time when people having a hard time to go out and eat a meal. These plate lunches are pretty affordable. And usually on Mokowaya Street, parking is really horrendous, but they have a little awkward parking stall. It is strange, but there was a place to park. So you just pull up in there and it's easy to go in and out. So I hope you found this informative and you know, hopefully you're interested in visiting if you're in the Kalihi Sand Island area for some awesome grinds. Go check out New Island Barbecue and I'll see you next week. Take care everybody. Like this if you like the video and you found it interesting. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again next week. Enjoy your weekend everybody. Peace out.